Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning. So it is a great day for travel, and it's a great day for a three island tour. <laughs> so that's what we're doing today. That's our, um, our excursion we're going on is a three island tour. And yes, I know it's a three hour tour, but you know what? You see what I did there. It is a three hour tour. It is a three hour Roughly. tour as well. Okay. Well, the name of the boat's not the SS Minnow, is it? I hope not. Okay. Probably not. I know, you know, if Ginger and Marianne are on there. Never mind, we'll, 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 we'll skip past that. <laughs> so, I don't know, I really don't know much about the, uh, the tour itself, where we're going and whatnot, so. Uh, so it goes to uh, Punta Mosquito, hopefully to see the flamingos. It does say that you may go to one or two different places, depending on where the flamingos have migrated. Hopefully we'll see them this time of year. And uh, they have been around. Uh, you go to Passion Island, which has a host of birds. It's great for bird watching. They have a little lookout area, but I think it's host to like 25 different species of birds and home to. And uh, then to a cenote in the nature preserve. So, All right. Yeah. All right, all right. So I guess we're going to go get some, uh, some breakfast, try and get some huevos. And, we're uh, up early. Get rolling. Okay, y'all, I've just got to tell you. If we haven't reiterated it enough, beat it to death. These, oh, good God, these mosquitoes are just damn, they're, I'm telling you, these were like developed in a lab and like given some like superhero genes or something. This is, they just, I'm serious, like, like, it, I don't even know what to say. Just all over. One other thing to note, uh, the, the, the beaches, don't get me wrong, there, there are some of them, uh, some of the spots are like, that's nice and sandy, but then there's a lot like this that are covered in seashells, so you're definitely going to want some good uh, foot coverings. Um, these, and I mentioned, uh, mentioned in one of the first videos, the uh, shoes that I got on Amazon, uh, there's Merrell's. Uh, a little more expensive than I wanted to spend, but they've been great. And I will, uh, again, I'm gonna put the link in the uh, in the uh, description of the ones that I got uh, directly on Amazon. Uh, but yeah, you're gonna need some good some good uh, uh, shoe, some good shoes, some good foot coverings, walking these uh, these beaches. Okay, well, we got here uh, to grab some breakfast. Uh, what's the name of the place? <laughs> Panapool, Panapool, maybe, P-A-I-N-A-P-O-L. I heard it's the best breakfast on Holbosch, and by the looks of it, they might be right, because let me tell you, the presentation the, yeah. is incredible. I'll throw the pictures up here right now. Uh, this is amazing. Um, so, uh, so we can put, uh, uh, put the description in. Uh, Melanie, what did you get? I got the pancakes with bacon and eggs and, it, and honey And what did you order for me? Okay, avocado toast with smoked salmon and a side of eggs, scrambled with cheese you had. It all looks phenomenal. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we, we're, we'll jump into this and let you know how it is. Okay, so we just finished up breakfast here at the uh, place I'm not going to be able to pronounce the name. Panapool? Panapool? I'll find out how you say it. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm. I'm not going to try. But at any rate, yeah, guys, food was really, really good. Um, Top notch. I mean, so fresh, so artfully prepared, and fresh quality ingredients. And fresh. America and could fresh. never. America could. I mean, oh, no, yeah, yeah. no. I mean, there. Are, but here's the thing. In America, it's like like you would pay so much for that and this whole thing cost us with tip 35 so that's not bad at all but it's just like on the street corner like I mean I know I guess that is in America too but but it, it's different it's, you've it's seen different you, you've, it's different you've seen the, the way it, it you know the the, the the streets and everything and and of course I'll show you here it's uh, um, 
sand uh, floors. You know, there's no flooring. It's just, it's just the natural earth. I think if you have a misconception about what Mexico is or a lot of areas in Mexico and like the kind of food that you would be eating here, I mean, it's just top notch. Yeah, I mean, shoot, we had lobster pizza last night. So good. You know, anyway. is that something you, you'd think of as a as Mexican cuisine? And they had lots of, I mean, this restaurant is very vegan and vegetarian friendly. It has a lot of um, like bowls, the IC bowls, lots of other kind of bowls. and Which we had, I took pictures of the menu yeah. uh, and I'll, I'll put them up here. If I hadn't already, I'll put them in here. But a whole bunch of options that were healthy, smoothies, um, you Yogurt know, bowls. we just choose not to be healthy, apparently, so. <laughs> had avocado was, toast. It was, with... it was some, somewhat healthy, yes. I went not healthy. Yeah, but yeah. it's healthier than American. Pancakes, Keep telling maybe. yourself that. Maybe. I don't know. Keep telling yourself that. But I just heard good things about this, so I had to try it. So. So, all right. And who doesn't have pancakes at least once on vacation? Me. me. No, not me. But okay, so uh, I'm gonna finish my coffee and then we gotta run. We gotta make it down to the ferry in the next ten minutes. All right, ten minutes. Let's dash. Okay, so after us uh, uh, trying to figure out how to pronounce the name of this restaurant, uh, P A N A P P A I N P A I N A P O L A P O L. Melanie, Melanie found out. It's pineapple. Apparently it's Spanish for pineapple and I didn't know. See, no, I had no idea. Not my thing. Yeah, so. But I'm hey. learning, I'm learning. We are tourists, you know. All right, we're right on time for our three island tour. Yes. Your name? Brent making friends with all the animals on the island. Much to my chagrin. We are ready. We're going to be developing boats. All right, we're getting on board, uh, heading over for the uh, three island tour, and it's with what was it, VIP Holbosch Tours? Was yep. that correct? VIP right. Holbosch Tours. Um, so let's see what. I'm excited. What's in store? Thank you. Okay, so they're saying we can get in here and swim. Um, he was just saying that that's a, uh, supposedly you get in, you come out 10 years younger, so we'll see. <laughs> but, uh, for example, there is the water is where the water is coming out. If you look like uh, the water never stopped, yeah. the water is all, all the time is coming out. Uh, all in the peninsula of the Yucatan, the subterranean rivers is connect each other with the cenotes, and this is the last place where the water is coming out. Uh, before, the people from Holbox, they came here for pick up this water for use for, for drink, for shower, for use for everything. Right. Now I don't recommend um, drink because it's high in, in a different like nutrients, uh, minerals. Right. That's why sometimes other people it's a heavy for the stomach, right? But it's, it's really fresh. If you also taste, yeah. you, feel, you feel that. It's a little bit cold. But uh, not well, when you here, start so. to move <laughs> and swim, uh, you're going to warm up. You, you don't feel any more. All right. Well, I definitely will be getting in. Yeah. <laughs> Some also in, in the theory in the Mayan culture, they say like this, these areas, we don't have too much around of, of the air of this area. It's like couple ones that people say like the people came here for purific day. So it's the only people can arrive here. It's just the rich people in that time. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's just for uh, the kings. <laughs> Uh, but now it's a nice, a nice spot for the people to enjoy it. And yeah, now that's a crab for sure. 
Yeah. All right. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was some sort of crazy spider. <laughs> you touched my hand. Upper one camera. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> You do get used to it. Well, yeah, but it's the first. Okay. 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 You got it. Just go for it. Yeah. And I'm. <laughs> oh boy. He said that uh, that this you know, that some of the um, I guess folks in the past or whatever said this was a fountain of youth. If you spend you spend ten, uh, I think he said you spend ten minutes in here and, and that you come out looking ten years younger. Um, then let me spend thirty years in here because thirty years, thirty minutes, thirty minutes. I'm glad we have thirty, forty minutes here because uh, that's exactly how. Well, all time I'm, I would like to take back. Well, now if it uh, get back to my twenties. You know, if it doesn't end up being true, I want my money back. That's all I'm saying. The water is very refreshing once you get in. It's cold at first. It is. It is quite cold. Ugh. I'm glad I have this thing, but it is very cumbersome. For it my is. Jacket. Yep. <laughs> What, see, I don't understand what I'm supposed to be pulling to make it hot. On the side. Yeah, I understand that, but I don't... Pull them toward you, the front. I understand that, but there's multiple. Not Here, let me do it. Okay. Well, but, hold on, I gotta... Let's ooh. break a rib. <laughs> Just pop the... <laughs> oh, I <laughs> thought... Uh, okay. Well, you're good. No, I'm not. We'll just... okay, okay, hold on. All right. So, heading up to this tower, top of this. Uh, just at, well, let me turn around and show you. So the water springs that we were just in they're down there and there is a tower up here that overlooks the whole area we have about 10 minutes to be back to the boat so we're going to run up here real quickly wow All right, well, it's been a real adventure already on this. Uh, Melanie got attacked by a spider crab <laughs> and uh, went way up there. A crab that I, th crab that I thought was a spider. <laughs> a yeah. very dangerous looking tarantula type of spider, but it was a crab. Yeah, it did. It, it, when I got... It did look like a spider, didn't it? Yeah, it did. It did, but it was a crab. So and we're calling it a, calling it a and that spider crab. And that while the view was amazing. Um, and it was perfectly steady, I guess, but me and my fear heights. I'm glad I went though. Glad I did it. Oh wow. They were right in front, right there.
Here. Here. Look at it. So cool, this is so cool. over there but now we're going here to jump in out of the boat and you can walk you can swim we have 20 minutes 30 minutes more it is pouring rain here you did not make it back before the storm how you feeling huh? Okay, we are right off of the the boat uh, from the uh, the th uh, three island tour, which ended up being a two island tour. But um, no fault of the uh, the company. Um, there was uh, rain coming in, and whatever the governmental agency is that. Uh, oversees the the islands or the, the whatever it is they were told that they could not uh, we could not go to the second stop which we is went there but we just weren't at the point where we were about to get out of the boat they were like pulled up now right right so I mean we we had just pulled up and, and uh, so anyway we weren't able to go and experience it that was with the flamingos and apparently sea turtles uh, which I was real uh, but we're disappointed walk out there uh, but right right so so hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll do all that. Um, we did get to see dolphins. Yes. Oh, yes. That was amazing. That was so cool. Um, yeah, that was worth it. It was worth it for that alone. Um, the only... Well, what did you think overall? I mean, I think for the price, I think... Yeah, it was a little disappointing that we couldn't get out at Punta Mosquito. Um and see the flamingos closer up. Um, but for the price, I mean, I think it was a good way to spend three hours. Yeah. I mean, I think it was a neat thing to go into the little nature preserve and go to the cenote or the freshwater spring, whatever it is. And, uh, and yeah. I enjoyed the boat ride. I don't think Brent enjoyed it as much. Well, that's what I was going to say. Is, is you know, I do have, I do have, uh, regardless of what some people at work seem to, uh, would say, um, I've got a spinal condition and uh, did not sit in the right spot on the boat. I sat in the very front of the boat, and every yeah, every wave it hit back down, and my back is in pain. So. I'll be honest with you, I'm probably going to have to go back to the room for a little bit. Actually, I probably need to work on stretching it out so that it doesn't stiffen up, but but I'm in pain. Um, so just know if you've got any any issues, I was unaware of this. Um, you're on a boat like that, sit towards the back, um, and that should protect your back. But uh, but at any rate, I, I did enjoy it. Um, just you know, wish we were, had been able to go to uh, that island, and but we'll make it over there on our own. So the, uh, the tour company was great. The tour guide was great. Shout out Eddie at VIP Holbosch. So, all right, all right. After a short rest from my back, uh, we are heading off, gonna do a little bit of exploring and walk back uh, towards the central area. Just kind of see some of the sites and shops and things like that that we've gone by that have uh, looked interesting. Yeah. So. I'm ready to shop. 
I guess I'll give you a few of the, uh, let you just get some of the sights and sounds of uh, Holbosch. Come and walk along with us. Look at that staircase up here. Ooh. Oh, wow. Sights and sounds, it sounds like Casa slosh, Corona. slosh, slosh, slosh. So more of the beautiful city of Holbosch, or I should say island of Holbosch. And then you see more of the artwork up there. Yeah, they, and they were they were out here last night. I don't know, I don't know exactly what they were playing. Actually, was I think it was volleyball. They were playing volleyball. I just didn't remember. Not that I didn't know what the game was. I just didn't recall what the uh, what they were playing. It just didn't, but uh, they were out here late last night playing volleyball. And again, just to give you an idea of the um, idea of the um, what word did you use again? Juxtaposition or whatever. It's not even that, just the, uh, there is such a large, what am I trying to say? There's a lot of different options food-wise that you kind of wouldn't, could, wouldn't expect um, right here uh, at the corner. Uh, I'm going to mispronounce it probably. Manano is a Japanese um, sushi bar. Um, with Japanese, you know, Japanese food, etc. I don't think it's specifically sushi, but it, do, it does have sushi and other things, poke bowls, etc., etc. There's a pizza place, uh, Italian pizza place over here. I mean, you know, and then there's Smash Burger. There's there's a Subway. Um, lots of different options. So believe Not an me. Smash okay, well they serve Smash Burgers, but just in the Subway's right down that way. So believe me. No matter what you like or dislike, they'll have it here. All right, we're back here at uh, the city center, hot corner. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we need cold brew. All right, so we came back in here to our favorite coffee shop so far um, here in Holbosch, Complimento Cafe. And of course, Melanie's double fisting it on the uh, black. One is not enough for me. On the uh, black um, cold brews there. There's a joke somewhere in there. And I did my same one I did the other day, the whole Bosch. Um, I'm telling you, this is really good stuff. Really, really, really good stuff. Okay, after a couple of detours. We are back on the hunt for some lunch. Where we decided is here at Zome. Um, decided to come up here and I'll throw up the um, uh, menu right here. Um, but um, let's see here. I got I got basically fish tacos. Um, I'll show you the specific ones on the, um, on the Cameroon. Cameroon fish tacos. Um, and Melanie and some fries and Melanie got what did you get steak tacos so we're just we're doing tacos left and right this trip um I mean hey when you're in Mexico why not but uh, but yeah this area over here is beautiful I'll show you in just a second to uh, show you the scenery um but uh it's absolutely gorgeous I keep saying that but beat it to death it is absolutely gorgeous here
finally found the time to uh, come in here and grab one of these teepees, canopies, whatever you want to call them. So we are going to hang out here for a little bit and just enjoy this beautiful, beautiful view. They brought by some passion fruit drinks, non-alcoholic. Um, look interesting. Cheers. getting out tonight um, after the after getting in the pool for a while and chilling out we um, came up and really we're just gonna rest for a little bit and of course that turned into nap time I went out to watch the sunset and she did you that you probably saw that already and uh, I napped um, so we were gonna go do the bioluminescence but there's kind of some confusion about the different tours and things like that and if it's really worth doing the tours or you can just go do it yourself so we put that off we might do that in the next couple of days while we're still here um, but uh, as of now we're going to go out and to be honest with you i'm still full from lunch and and uh and uh breakfast so i don't know so he's gonna make me the bad looking one well i mean you know i might have an appetizer or something but no i'm still I'm still pretty full, so uh, we'll see. Well, you know, uh, beyond that, I don't think we have any plans. Just see what kind of trouble we can find, right? Yep. You well, right? I have plans. Oh, do they involve me? Maybe. <laughs> it's a very nice night out. It is nice breeze because it's been a little overcast and there's been some rain in the area. Anyway, it's beautiful, like perfect weather. All right, so once again, I think I mentioned uh, in the video from yesterday about the fact that the beach is not lit up, and so you will end up... Can we go through there? Did we I go think the so. Way? No, I think we can go through there. I don't know. We'll see. You'll end up needing a flashlight or just using your the flashlight on your cell phone, as Melanie is showing. Okay, so the name of this place right here that does have draft beer, and in fact, they do have um, craft beer, uh, is Cronaceous. Um, I will put uh, put a picture of their menu, both their beer menu and their um, food menu up here. Um, but really cool, really cool little little spot, really cool place, and I'm just excited to actually have some some uh, draft beer and craft on top of that. All right, guys, so we're going to head out of here um, to the next stop. I actually grabbed some, uh, I think we're going to go grab some uh, some dinner next. Um, but I just got to tell you, this place is really, really cool. The um, the ambiance, the, the service, I mean, just really, really, really cool place. Um, but yeah, definitely worth stopping in when you're when you're here. If the uh, craft beer and craft cocktail um, and, you know, really, and handmade and say craft food. I don't know what to say. Higher end food and everything is 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 your thing. Great spot. So we were getting ready to leave uh, the other place and uh, 
it started to rain a little bit, so we beat it over here to Basico. Melanie was all about trying to get over here and check this place out. I was too, but you know, I'm pretty good anywhere. But anyway, so here we are. So yeah, if you come over here to Basico, you've got to get one of these uh, front facing window seats. You see everybody walking by, it's good people watching. All right, so we, we got our appetizers here um, at, at uh, Basico. And uh, I don't remember the name specifically, but this is the pulled pork appetizer, which looks absolutely amazing. Melanie already dove in with a bite or two and absolutely said it's amazing. And this is her Earth salad. salad. What's it called? Earth salad. Earth salad. Let me get also it in. So fantastic. She's saying it's, it, it's fantastic as well. So two thumbs up across the board.